So I went into the subway today. I said something I probably shouldn't have said. And let me know if this has ever happened to you when you went to Subway or any other food place. Let me know. I asked my wife, what do you want for lunch? And we go through the list, you know, McDonald's, Culver's, Burger King, which Burger King is terrible in my city. And then I say, well, what about Subway? And she says, Subway. So I'm like, all right, let's go to Subway. So I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to bring it home. I go there and the lady goes, hi, how can I help you? I said, I want a 12 inch Italian herbs and cheese. And she looks back at the bread, looks back at me and says, all we have is Italian bread. And I'm like, okay, I'll do a 12 inch white. And she goes, all we have is Italian bread. So right now I know I'm dealing with a goofy. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with a goofy. I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out. So I said, all right, I want a 12 inch Italian and a six inch Italian. So she gets out a 12 inch Italian, cuts it in half. And then she goes, what do you want on it? And I go, I want steak and cheese, not toasted. So she takes the meat, puts it on the bread. I already know she messed up because you gotta take the meat, you gotta put it in a container, put it in the microwave, then put it on the bread. So then I tell the lady, I go, I don't want it toasted. She looks at me like she's confused. And I said, you got to take the meat off the bread, put it on a container, put it in the microwave. And there's a girl that's standing next to her watching her fail and kind of like laughing, kind of smirking. And I'm thinking, if you're working together, why wouldn't you help this lady out or help me out so we don't have to go through this? But no, you're watching the other person supervising that they're being a dumbass, which is ridiculous. So eventually she scrapes the meat off the bread, puts it in the microwave, then puts it on the bread like normal. And then she looks at the other six inch and she goes, what do you want me to do with this? Me not having a filter and speaking out loud, I said, I don't know, stick it up your ass. And then I realized, oh my God, I should not be talking like this in public, let alone someone who's making my food, let alone someone who's working. I literally just told this lady to stick it up her ass. And then I'm like, oh no, I go, um, I go do whatever you want with it, I don't know. And she goes, so you don't want this? I go, I want a 12 inch white. We got an Italian, I go, I want a 12 inch Italian. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just give me my bread, bro. So then finally she gets me the 12 inch with the white bread, whatever, Italian, white, white, whatever. It's all the same, whatever. It is what it is. So then I say, I don't want it toasted, meaning I want you to take the meat, enough meat, and put it in that container, put it in the microwave, and then put it on my sandwich. And uh, finally, she put the six inch back and then she went and did the meat and then gives it to the other lady. She does okay. She's all, she's all right. She's not that good either. And then it gets down to me paying and it said tip. Now, guys, I tip everywhere I go. I tip everywhere I go. When this offers me a tip, I tip. But I'm not going to lie, when the tip thing came up, I said, no tip, out loud. And then I said, tip, you should get a better job. I probably shouldn't have said those either. So she handed me the bag, didn't say bye, didn't say nothing, treated me like an asshole. Rightfully so. I told her to shove bread up her ass. I get it. And then as I leave, there's a construction guy walking into Subway, and I go, be careful, there are dumbasses working today. And he started to laugh like I was joking. So as I'm getting ready to back out because it snowed in Minnesota and it's a pain in the ass to get anywhere, I'm backing out and the guy comes, he taps on my glass, I roll down the window and he goes, you're right, they're a whole new kind of stupid. And I started to laugh and I drove away. I thought I would share this with you guys. I know this isn't GTA, but I know a lot of you guys like story time. Jack Knight Finnegan, subscribe, like, and comment for more story time. I'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. Peace.